Hi guys. Hey guys, we're back here at Epcot, back at Flower and Garden. We were just here last week and decided to come to Epcot today. We were originally gonna go to Magic Kingdom, but then we decided, oh, you know what, today kind of seems like a better Epcot day for us. Definitely. Um, I'm actually hungry, yeah. so I'm looking forward to trying some new stuff. Um, not as many desserts maybe, but maybe like steak. That's what I have a taste yeah. for Yeah, some red meat sounds really good today. Yeah. And it's actually kind of cold today. It's like 63 degrees, so oh. wasn't expecting that because yesterday, uh, last night it was very humid at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. But yeah, it's quite chilly today here at Epcot. Yeah, so come along with us guys and hang out for a while. Hang out for a while, thanks for watching guys. All right, guys, so today we're heading into the left side of the World Showcase because we did not complete this side last time we did Flower and Garden. So we're slipping deeply and deeper and deeper <laughs> into the madness. Into the madness. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sun. I know, right? It is so bright. <laughs> it is so bright. Feels like the second sun that they had in, was it China? Did anyone see that? That was really cool. Don't know what they're doing with that, but you know. <laughs> so we're gonna check out Lotus Blossom or Lotus Bloom. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> so that's what it's called. Not Lotus Blossom, not Lotus Bloom, Lotus House. I don't know, seeing the water move like this it kinda reminds me of Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Rob made this Oh nice, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So here guys we got the I think it is called the Tang Dynasty and it has like Jose Cuervo tequila, it has uh, vodka, some orange juice. So I am looking for this to get me there. <laughs> it looks delicious. And we also got the cheesy crab wontons. Which yeah. I did say it has real crab meat in it. So we'll Yeah, say. we asked. I didn't want the imitation, you know. Yeah. For real, for real. All right, guys, here's the cheesy wonton. Let's see how it is. All right, guys, so here's the inside. Um, it does appear to be imitation crab meat because as you guys can see, it's a little red in there and that usually indicates imitation crab meat. So not real crab meat like they told us at the booth, but I mean, they're still very tasty. Okay, guys, so I just finished the crab cheese ragoon and overall it's not worth $7.75. I say that because it is equivalent to about Panda Express. Um, they were a little cheesier than the ones I get at Panda Express, but overall, for what you get for seven, uh, 75 you could almost get four orders of those at Panda Express. And also, I should add that I recently just bought some crab cheese ragoons earlier this week at the grocery store. I think it's called Royal Asia, and I got eight of them for $5 and some change. With real crab meat. And it had real crab meat. It was blue the, uh, claw crab meat. Yep, it was blue claw crab meat, as Brittany just pointed out. So these did not have real crab meat in them. Uh, overall, they were, they were good. But for seven seventy five, yeah, um, you're you're not missing out. You do not need to get those during your vacation. And Brittany also pointed out that in the Canada Pavilion, they have one of the steak options. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know the exact. I don't remember the exact name of it. But that's eight dollars. So yeah, just be a little mindful at uh, Flower and Garden, and really think if you want to spend that seven seventy five. Personally, I would not do it. However, um, this drink. Actually, it's pretty good. What would you say overall with this drink? Uh, the drink is definitely a buy. The drink is definitely a buy, Brittany says. I would agree. It, this is a good drink here. It has uh, Jose Cuervo. Well, Brittany pointed out what it has in it. But yeah, get this. Don't get the crab cheese raccoons. The drink is really good. Like, I would definitely get that again. Uh, Joe and I were splitting that one because we just weren't sure. And I hate to waste my money on like bad drinks. That is like a huge pet peeve of mine, but I would say definitely get that one. I have been looking high and low for these hats. Did not realize they were here. This reminds me of Lord Raiden from yes. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> these are so cool. They have like these puppets here. Guys know how I feel about puppets. Kind of creepy. Guten Abend. I love this pavilion actually. It is a beautiful pavilion. I don't know. I feel like this one is just super authentic. Yeah, yeah. It does feel very authentic. 
actually very nice. Yeah. Oh my god, these earrings. The bottom right. Right here. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't know they had this. This is so cool. I'm doing one of these like a replica at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. I didn't know it was a bar in here. Hello, Oktoberfest. What am I thinking? Ah, Mozart. Hmm. I haven't played any Mozart in a long time. In case you guys didn't know, I actually am a violinist. Well, I used to be. I'm practicing again. Oh my god, so beautiful, the evening, the flowers. <laughs> it's a beautiful night here at Epcot. Very beautiful yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah. A little cold, but otherwise, very nice. But you know what I like when it gets cold here in Florida off the water? It reminds me when we went to Boston. Yes. And yes. it just had that like salty air. I don't know, I love that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Boston was awesome. It was, it was awesome. Can you name them all? <laughs> Let's see. Happy, grumpy, bashful, sleepy, sneezy, and I don't know this one. What is his name? Here is Snow White with Dopey, of course. Okay, guys, so I just had a moment. His name was Doc, not Happy. I got him mixed up. All right, we're going to Joe's motherland. Yes, my motherland. <laughs> Italy. Yes. Buongiorno. So guys, here we are in the Italian pavilion or Italy. Um, I am so happy because Joe told me we have reservations for Via Napoli yep. for one of the days for my uh, birthday celebration yep. I know it seems super basic for someone like me but let me tell you pizza is like one of my favorite foods chicken eat pizza several times a week guys and I'm the one that's <laughs> Italian she loves pizza. I do and it's just so simple to, yeah. she's been saying she wants to go to this restaurant for a while so I don't know if you guys ever tried it how is it is, is it really any good we went to the pizza window one time, and I gotta tell you the story, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. You gotta tell them. All right, guys. So I went to the pizza window that's right behind me on our first vacation at Disney because we wanted some pizza, and I ordered two um, margarita pizza slices. So I get the pizza, and it's just like a Sicilian pizza slice. Um, no basil, you know, nothing, no fresh tomato on it. So I'm like, oh, I ordered the margarita pizza, and they're just like. This is the margarita pizza. I was like, oh, okay. And I just walked away, you know, and I'm from Jersey. So it was just uh, quite the experience here at Disney. That's when I really started <laughs> to realize that the things on, you see on the menu here at Disney are not always what you think. No. You gotta love Disney, man, though, right? You gotta love Disney. Here we are having pizza. In Italy. In Italy. <laughs> that was what you said to me the first time. <laughs> My response yeah. was just, yeah. Because I didn't really okay. see the things I was so aggravated at the time about that margarita pizza. <laughs> so, is anyone else into Greek mythology? I know I am. I believe this is Poseidon, who is the god of the sea. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <gasps> Look at Spaceship Earth in the sky. It looks incredible. It almost looks like one of those galaxy photos whenever they can actually see the light from other galaxies and the stars combusting. A little deep there, right? <laughs> the Japan Pavilion. All right, guys, one last stop before we head out. We're gonna head into Creations. This is our first time coming in here without uh, needing to wear a mask, so that's pretty exciting. So exciting. <laughs> Should be a much more relaxing experience. Yeah. It is very crowded here in Creation, guys. Look at this crowd. Wow. Crowds are here at Disney World this week. Here we have the Orange Bear. And when we first started coming to Disney World, 
I really didn't understand the significance of this little cute bird, but I realized it was the first sponsor for Walt Disney World. And so I have a lot of respect for this little guy now. Very cute. Thanks for helping us. Oh my God, these are so gorgeous. Um, I don't know if I'd spend a thousand dollars for it. Really? Well, they wouldn't keep it out here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it is limited edition. Comes with black dust bag and decorative 50th commemorative box. And here, guys, is this collection of Dooney and Burke. Joe corrected me. It's not Bork, it's Burke. <laughs> I don't know. I have a Michigan hard R. So here we have some more of the collection. This one kind of has more options, almost like it's from uh, Germany. You see what they have here. It's Minnie and her clocks. And then it's the cuckoo clock, Donald. Very cool. This one I would say is about the cutest um, yeah. out of the collection. I just like that it looks like cartoon art. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like doodles, like you were in class and you were bored and this is what your imagination came up with. Very cute. Here it looks like they have the 50th anniversary. Joe said that these are Starbucks, and as you guys can see, yes, they are. <laughs> He's always right. These are kind of like the ones we have at home. Oh, yeah, when I made the Mickey beignets. Yep. Buzz, light gear. It's a lot of good stuff in here today, actually. Yeah. I think I'm going to buy one of these lollipops today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, actually, though, we have seen someone with a lollipop. So they do sell at $30 a pop. If you were curious, they're Literally, 30 bucks. A pop. A lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh my God, I was about Either. to say, are they selling ones in here Either. now? Wow. They almost got me. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, 50th tumblers. I feel like I used to get these things more when I had to go into the office. Yeah. Now it's just like, I don't want to see them ever again because it just reminds me of having <laughs> to go into the office. So for a whopping $39.99, more 50th Dooney and Burke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's something we're going to do, guys. We're going to start naming what we predict will be an outlet item. Yep, I predict this will definitely be that. I don't think they're as popular here in America as they are in Japan. I agree. Oh, this doll is really cute. So back to these sneakers. Joe and I were talking and we thought, how cool would it be if Jordan and Mickey, or Disney I should say, did a collaboration and they did like Mickey 50th anniversary ones. That would be so cool. Both original classics. Oh, great. <laughs> Watch this from Citizen. There's this one. I love these classic tees. Reminds me of like the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. For all of you Alex and Ani lovers. So Joe and I were just talking about how this is the most that we've seen in Creations and it seems like they have a lot of really good merch. But I do think that being able to come in here without a mask actually helps you to see what all they have. Because before, once I got uncomfortable, I would just kind of leave. But now I get to take it all in again. Yeah, it's just a more pleasant experience. Much more pleasant. Here are the orange bird ears or the citrus ears or whatever you want to call them. They're very cute, very fun. Corsicle. I don't really have any products from Corsicle. I am kind of a, I'm more of a Yeti person. Like our tumblers at home are usually Yeti. Yep. So if you use that, let me know if it's actually any good. I am a brand loyalist though. <laughs> you are. Hey, this is the first time I've ever seen like any real Tiana merch. Yeah. You really don't see her on like t-shirts and stuff at all. No, not at all. Yeah. Our Toy Story merch. Our, one of our favorite lands actually in Hollywood Studios. And he's our favorite coaster. Oh yeah, that's Slinky Dog. <laughs> yep. Dirty Dog. That Dirty Dog. 
We have Groot. I don't know. I feel like Baby Groot used to be the mascot that everyone loved, and now I think Grogu has taken his spot. I would agree with that. I would definitely say Grogu took his spot. Sorry, Groot. They have the pass holder headbands or ears. There it is. There's Test Track. Yep. So, Joe and I always have these conversations, of course, usually off camera. And one of the things that we think is that Chevrolet is not really cutting it in terms of being a good sponsor for Test Track. I feel like for Epcot being innovative, the new sponsor should be like Tesla. You know, contact Elon Musk and why don't you partner with him? I mean, he has a lot of amazing ideas, and I really think that that's something that would be beneficial for this park. I agree 100%. So for example, here is Mission Space, a fantastic ride that is based on space exploration. But if Disney partnered with, you know, Elon Musk, and he did SpaceX, the new mod could be a visual of what it will be like to fly to Mars and eventually colonize it. I know that's the next step for the next frontier, but I really think that it will be beneficial to partner with Elon Musk, with SpaceX, Tesla, really update and ramp up this type of ingenuity for Epcot. It just is very fitting of Epcot. Annual pass holder previews. Please, Disney, please. Come I know. On. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for this. <laughs> I really hope so. Yeah. So, Joe and I were just talking about this, and Joe asked me, which new coaster at Walt Disney World does he think that I'm that will steal the show? Yeah. So, we picked between Tron, that hasn't opened yet, and also Guardians. So, I said that initially, I think that people are going to be really hyped about Tron, but I think ultimately, Guardians is going to steal the show. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'm definitely going with Guardians, personally. That's the one I'm most excited yeah. uh, excited for. And I say that because, uh, as Brittany pointed out, it's an original. You yeah. know, you could watch a video online, and you know what you get with Tron. And don't get me wrong, that Tron, I think, is going to be great. But I think I'm just a little bit more excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Yeah, because when something is an original, when you go into it, you have the anticipation. You don't know what to expect, so I feel like all of your senses are heightened. It's kind of like a first-time experience. So I think ultimately with Guardians, people are going to have a more realistic and more emotional attachment to that coaster's debut. I agree. I agree 100%. Let us know. What do you guys think? Guardians or Tron? What are you most excited for? Guardians! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this evening. Thanks for joining us here at Epcot. Uh, we had another great evening here at Epcot. Um, it's been a great day. It was great to try some new offerings at Flower and Garden. Um, we enjoyed going into Creations. They had a lot of stuff today, guys. Yeah, a lot of good merch, actually. Oh, yeah, a lot of good merch. Um, but yeah, thanks you for joining us this evening. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye.